What's good, y'all? Rich Salsa checking back in the building. And with all that being said, I just want to start this banger off by saying thank y'all so much for all the love, but more so, just all the continuous support, everything that y'all have been through with me. I continue to thank y'all, put y'all first, got y'all on my back to the rich gang family, y'all. And I just don't want a video or a day to go by where I don't appreciate y'all. So thank y'all. And as you can see by the looks of the title on the screen, y'all. Today, the bill that I'm bringing y'all is going to be the new glass cleaning finisher, y'all. This build, I'm telling y'all, is going to be a really great center build. You can do a lot of different things with it, especially depending on the takeovers that you choose when you make this build. But before we get into the making, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. All are welcome to join the Rich Gang family y'all to all the supporters run up those likes let's go ahead and get 40 likes on this banger be sure to share it with your family and friends and last but not least y'all turn on post notifications so you can see when i upload every single day and when i go live so if you've seen in the beginning of the video the position that we are going to be making this glass cleaning finisher out of is going to be out of none other than the power forward y'all now, I'm telling y'all right now, right here, that there are different positions that you could probably make this build out of. But the best one is going to be the power forward. When it comes to the height, you're going to want to go 7 foot. Weight is going to be at 715 and wingspan at 710, y'all. I'm telling y'all, we're going to be able to get the contact dunks with this build. We're going to be able to definitely shoot. Our defense is going to be off the chart. And once we get plus 8 to our physicals, everything is going to be really oh. Now, let's get right into the finishing. What you want to go ahead and do here, you're going to put your driving layup to a 78, your driving dunk to an 87. Standing dunk is going to be maxed out at 95, and our post control is going to be 95 as well, y'all. That's 23 finishing badges, and you're pretty much a post scorer that's going to have 99 post control once you max out this build. For our mid range, we're going to go a max out of 79 and a three pointer at 76. When it comes to our free throw, we're going to go ahead and put 90 due to the fact that that's going to give us the 14 shooting badges that we're going to want. So, so far, we have 23 and 14, y'all. When it comes to the defense, max out your interior defense at 84. Put your perimeter defense max at 70. And when it comes to your steal, go ahead and max that out as well at 63. Our block, we're going to go ahead and put that to exactly 80, y'all. Anything higher, anything lower, it will, and it might change the build name. And it also might change up the bad setup. So what you want to go ahead and do is max out both your offensive rebound and your defensive. That's going to be 95. Speed is going to be maxed out. Vertical, yes, we're going to max that out, of course. Stamina is maxed out. Acceleration and the strength. And as y'all can see, we get a total of 23, 14, and 23, y'all. I'm telling y'all, the way that this build is made between finishing and defense that's a total of 46 badges add in the shooting that's a total of 60 badges on this build y'all that is really good especially for being the name that we get now when it comes to the takeovers y'all if you want to be a true glass cleaning finisher by all means go ahead and pick the glass cleaning takeover but for this specific build y'all i would highly recommend possibly considering one of the post moves to take over, y'all. Due to the fact that we have a 99 post control, once you max this build out at 99, everything is going to be really good, especially with the fades when it comes to post fading. But I'm going to go with post shot daggers when it comes to that takeover. The second one, I would go somewhere between limitless range, see the future, and the contact dunk takeover, y'all. It's all going to be based on preference, but again, if you want to stay true to the name, by all means, pick a glass cleaning takeover. I'm going to go with See the Future. And the reason why I picked that is because I feel like this badge has a lot of potential when it comes to the rebounding. But as you can see, the build name we get is a legit glass cleaning finisher, y'all. Sean Kemp comparisons, Anthony Davis, and Jaron 
Jackson, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this build is going to be something else. I love the comparisons, but more so, I love the name that we get. Now, real quick, let's check this build out at 99. So, your speed at 99 plus gym rat is going to be 84. Acceleration is going to be 80. Your strength is going to be in the mid-60s. Vertical, we're going to have a 92 vertical, 99 stamina. When it comes to our interior defense at 99, we're going to have 88. Perimeter defense, 74. Our steel is going to be near the 70s. Block is going to be an 84. And we're going to have 99 rebound for offense and defense. When it comes to the shooting, you're going to have an 83 midi. Your three-pointer is going to be an 80. And your free throw is going to be a 94. But when it comes to 99 for your driving dunk, you are going to have a 91 driving dunk, y'all. You're also going to be in the 80s when it comes to your layup. 99 post scoring. 99 standy dunk, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this build is a really great finisher especially once you learn how to shoot on this game this build might be one of the better op center builds i'm telling y'all now essential badges you're gonna want on especially when it comes to the finishing you're gonna need posterizer on hall of fame y'all i'm telling y'all that right now i'm also gonna throw on giant slayer just to be safe and go hand in hand but you're also part post scorer y'all do not forget that so throw on drop stepper on hall of fame and you could also even throw on pro touch if you want to I'm just throwing on the badges that are going to help me most overall. I'm also going to throw on Fearless Finisher as well as Postman Technician, both on Hall of Fame. And for the last badge I want to throw on, it's going to be Back Down Punisher. You can even throw on Acrobat if you want to, Lob City Finisher, or even Highlight Film. It really just depends on the type of player that you are, but I'm going to go right here as I showed y'all. Now, when it comes to the shooting, y'all, you want deep threes on gold as well as hot zone hunter on the highest that you possibly can which is gold for this build now fade ace is really going to be an effective badge i remember back in 2k19 the fadeaways were crazy especially when you just hold l2 and fade off of that corner specialist is going to be one of the last badges that i go for on gold and the last one i'm going to go with dead eye but you could even go with hot shot if you want it really just depends on the type of player that you are i'm just trying to do my best to help out the rich gang family and any supporters that come through to watch the bangers and i'm just giving y'all some ideas because i know a lot of y'all might not have next gen right now y'all are probably on current gen but once you get next gen you already have the bangers ready y'all so you could just come back and watch it again and set up the most op builds that i'm giving y'all now when it comes to your defensive badges i definitely want to throw on gold intimidator for this build Another one I'm going to throw on is Rim Protector on Hall of Fame. Now, another one that we're going to go with. Going to go hand in hand with Rim Protector. Chase Down Artist as well as Rebound Chaser, y'all. I truly believe that Pogo Stick, Tireless Defender, and Rebound Chaser are really going to go hand in hand with each other. Again, one of my favorite badges this year for defense is going to be Clutch Defender. I feel like it's just like the Clutch Shooter badge, but even better. But to be honest... I don't really want to say that Clutch Defender is my favorite just yet because I feel like Tireless Defender this year is going to make a huge difference, especially with all the different kind of builds that we can make. Now, we're going to have builds that can literally have 99 speed with Tireless Defender on. And can you imagine how crazy that'll be for the centers that have that on with a low speed or acceleration? You're going to be able to hold R2 all game and really not even be impacted by it. Now, you could go somewhere in the range of box on Hall of Fame if you want to for that last badge. You could really do Tireless Defender as well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. I'm going to go with box just to go hand in hand with Rebound Chaser. But as you can see, we have a total of 10 Hall of Fame badges on this build. Again, if y'all watched this entire banger through, I just want to say thank y'all so much for the amazing support. I'm going to continue to grind every day. I'm making about four videos a day for y'all. And I'm being truthfully honest when i say that four videos a day the reason why is because i'm trying to put out two bangers every single day for y'all i'm already doing one every day so one extra wouldn't be a lot more to do y'all so again thank y'all for this special time that we share together thank y'all for everything that we have been through and thank y'all for continuing to stay on this journey with me but again if you watch this entire banger through i just want to say thank y'all for the amazing time that we share together thank y'all for having me a part of y'all day and with all that being said sure to hit that sub button if you're new all are welcome to join the rich gang family y'all so all the supporters let's go ahead and run up the likes let's go ahead and get 40 likes on this banger 
Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last, but definitely not least, y'all. Be sure to turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload every single day and when I go live. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.